All right. This is the end of July, and this is just a few more minutes podcast. Doom review. That about sums up Doom right there. <laughs> Did any of you guys play the original Doom? Uh, yeah. I watched other people play it. You never played yeah. it? I never played it myself. I played the original. I played it on a 32X, though. <laughs> oh, why? Well, one, I'd never had a 32X, and I never had a computer strong enough to play Doom, so that's eliminated. I mean, when me. did Doom even actually come out? Because I know I played it, but I probably didn't play it like when it came out. Um, yeah, well, somebody look it up. I'm going to guess 1996. 96. Okay, then maybe no, I did. It was before then. Was it? I- I'm pretty sure it was. 94, maybe then? Couldn't have been much before 96. Hold up, you have shitty internet. 1993. Whoa! No wonder why it was a revolutionary. Yeah, so I was not playing that at the age of five. <laughs> Maybe I was. I don't know. Might explain nothing because I'm perfect. So I was 11, and there's no way I ha- we did not own a computer. No way. Okay. No yeah, way. Computers were expensive right. back then, man. Yeah. So yeah. So I think I went over to one of my friends. Um, actually, I, I still remember the friend Eric Holter. That was him. And he uh, he played that, and then he showed me like a very elaborate version of Bucky O'Hare mm. that looked nothing like the NES version. Mm. It was pretty cool. Huh. And then he sh- played Tetris all night. And then his friend Garrett, yeah. like we had a sleepover. Yeah. And I don't know. He I, touched you. He didn't, but it was about as <laughs> close. So I did. was on the top bunk, and Eric and him were on the bottom bunk, and they were like doing a lot of like wrestling and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But then he like... Garrett like would like whip out his dick oh, geez. and shake it about and call it the Thrasher. Yeah, I've never forgotten it. It's unfortunate you named him by first and last name. No, no, that was a friend Garrett. <laughs> oh, okay. He he does not have the last name. Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was Garrett Wagner. Oh, well, that's the guy at work. Oh my God! What if it was the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I I'm not even remotely joking. I'm swear to God that's his name. I know there's a guy at work. All right. I never put that together until just now. So doom. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Jeff. Dude, I apologize, good Garrett at work. Like I did. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to in yeah, to in good. imply infer imply that. Imply not. or infer. Well, he'd be inferring I was talking about him. But I'm would be implying, but I'm not implying it. Definitely was not. I'm gonna look up that guy's name. Jeff, put your dick away. I the thrasher. <laughs> put the thrasher away. <laughs> uh. So I liked Doom. Yeah, was it was fun. an enjoyable experience. Now, okay. The real question. Mm. Okay. Pete, did you beat it? Yes, I did. Oh, good. I also I played did. it on the PC though. Oh, that's good. Probably easier. And what did you play it on? PS4. And I played it on Xbox. Fucking fanboy. <laughs> did you beat it? <laughs> okay, no, I didn't. Uh, uh, so I got, I got like halfway through the game. Um, about. So basically, I, I, yeah, a little bit, probably a little bit passed away, and then I <clears throat> realized I wasn't gonna finish in time, so I watched a playthrough of the rest of it. So I, I know what happens and got, can make a proper judgment. I gotta say. I'm I'm dedicating myself to these games with the exception of Arms. All right, so that you was took a that travesty, month off, <laughs> and I spent this month moving houses, like moving oh, houses, blabber, having blabber, no internet. I had no internet for the first like two and a half weeks, so I played catch up the last two. And a half. Shania Twain, Shakira's Manira's excuses are for what? Olivia buttholes. Munn. Olivia Munn and buttholes. She's got a lot of excuses. Why aren't you dating Aaron Rodgers anymore, Olivia Munn? I don't know anything Nothing but excuses. about her. Something about Psylocke life. and purple hair and all that jibber jabber. We're off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so this game inspired me to change my rating system. Cool. I've never liked this rating system. Okay. Well, <laughs> we should talk about like if we if we want to switch it up. But I am going to review this 100% as Jeff's opinion now. 
That, is that not how we've been doing it this whole time? I've, I've been no. So I've been looking at it like, all right, if this is if if like this is my genre, then how would I rate it? I'm going to maybe you've been doing it this way the whole time, but now I'm going to just take this as what does Jeff think of X, Y, and Z in terms of my own taste? So like take graphics, for instance, since that's the first um, group. Sure. I gave. Oh, we're diving into it. Okay. Yeah, why not? Like it's a it's a good example, so I might as well just dive straight in. So I gave the graphics an E. I clearly wrote the wrong one thing. E. <laughs> <laughs> you really did change. That. Yeah, it's totally different. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll make it up right now. A two point five. Okay. Now. All right, let me go over the rating system. Is that okay to do that? Yeah. All right, one being terrible, two being rough but not a disaster, three being acceptable but not noteworthy, four noticeably great, five stands as the best of his contemporaries. So the graphics, I don't think you could say that's bad artwork. It's not poor. But in terms of my aesthetic, I don't like it. I didn't find anything exciting about it or, I don't know, it was just like, yeah, that, that's what you would do if you're making... So what did you rate it? Two and a half. So slightly below average. Okay. Because basically the way I rate things, like when your brother was on, he was telling us that we should rate things in the category that they're within. Yeah. So like if I were to rate arms against other fighting games, I'm sure it would do fine. But I've never done it that way. I've rated it on whether I enjoyed it or not. Three always being average, completely average. Yeah. So that said, graphics for me was completely average, so I gave it a three. Right. I, it was everything was just like super generic sci-fi. Exactly. And yep. then when you get to hell, spoilers, but not really, it's doom. I was like, I've seen better hells. Yeah. This is right. like pretty tame, boring hell. Well, and and then if you were to take this, like if you were to go back to 1993 and see this, you'd lose your shit. Sure. But. There's nothing surprising, and there's like nothing. I don't know. No, I, don't I, know. I agree. Like if like if you treat it as a painting, you would say that yeah, that person can paint, but I don't care. Mm. Yeah. What did you rate graphics, Petrie? Uh, I actually gave it a three point five, and I don't know if that's because I was on a PC or not, but um, could be. I was. I was impressed with some of the technical stuff they were able to achieve with mm. the look of the sh- materials and stuff like that. Um, but I agree, the design of like hell and stuff was very felt very generic. Speaking of design, this has sort of grown into like a super big pet peeve of mine that unfortunately was pointed out to me on Twitter, and Doom is no different. But in any futuristic sci-fi design be it video games or movies or any other medium the like the status quo pattern to use in all of these is a hexagonal pattern look fucking anywhere and you'll see hexagons they're all right. over doom right, 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 like right, every right. barrier shield is a hexagon <laughs> pattern every window has hexagons in it i've been playing mass effects andromeda there's hexagons all over but at least they're like overlaying them so it's not quite apparent that it's hexagons until you look for them but still why is stop that stop putting hexagons in stuff guys but i don't know because somebody did it once and everybody copied it and now yeah. it's like it's a trope you know yeah. Yeah. yeah and there's there's like if you look at like some alien fonts there's some really cool th- like designs just in that yeah there's you know go that route yeah, there's it's much more interesting. There's so many ways to go about it to get the same feel, but do it slightly differently. And I feel like ultimately that's the flaw of this Doom. But that said, I feel like they put all their all their eggs in the basket of gameplay for this game. Yeah, I agree. All right, well, <coughs> let's move away from that area and go to sound. I teed you up for gameplay. And we're I know. I, all right, fine. Do you want to go, go gameplay? No, I don't. All right. Because we don't even have a category for that. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Fun factor. That's uh, gameplay. That was, that's control. 
See, this is why I don't like our system. You can switch it up. You have a problem with GamePro? GamePro magazine? Yeah, it's defunct and nobody fucking uses it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Well, here's a taste of the sound throughout the entire game. Hey, don't fucking knock it. Dude, come on. Did you like it? Well, let me just say, metal is not my brand of music at all. Within the context of the game and the way they do it, it's fucking awesome. Oh, man. This just was not my cup of tea. Dude, okay, so my probably my favorite thing about this game is how they managed to tie the music into the gameplay. And it just, even if right. whether you notice yeah, it or you don't, it makes you sense. feel fucking awesome. I know what you mean, yeah. Like, the the most obvious example is at the beginning of the game when you're going up the elevator and then you, like, clock your shotgun and to the beat of the music at the end of the song. That's pretty cool, but, like, even within gameplay, like, I notice there's, like, an assault rifle or something like that, but when you have the zoomed-in capability and you shoot, it just sounds like power chords and, like, a snare drum being hit. And I didn't really notice it until like midway through the game that it was always syncing up to the music every yeah, time yeah, I yeah. shot it. It's like that's fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you make a valid point. It's, I, I'm sure it's not easy to do. Right. Certainly, yeah. Technically executed well. Because like you got to have songs that are generally probably all the same BPM or tempos or whatever, and then you have to tie how all your guns like reload or shoot to be generally in that same timing and everything it's like super complicated super cool stuff yeah all right so what'd you give it then i gave it a five oh shit and again don't even like this type of music pete i gave it a four i i like this type of music it just uh it just was a little repetitive for me the music that is right yeah all right and i I sadly knocked it down to a three, mainly on one reason, which maybe given what you just said is not really fair, but the annoying screeching of the animals constantly through the game really <laughs> got under my skin. Man, no, it didn't. You, It got under your skin that it was getting under Deb's skin. <laughs> There's a little bit of that for sure. Like I have to turn the TV down because it's like, like once you notice it and start noticing, basically all you're doing is hearing heavy metal and... <laughs> Like, constantly. It's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. To my wife's testament, midway through the game, or probably right when I started, I was like, is this game annoying? I'm really sorry if it's annoying. She's like, no, it's. I don't mind it at all. I was like, huh, interesting. interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. She's a she's a metalhead. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> actually, I do, I, I do listen to metal. Yeah, actually, you came over while I was painting, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and all of a sudden, <laughs> like, you, my music was on, and you're like, is this what you paint to? <laughs> it's like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you look slightly ashamed. <laughs> uh, Caught you jacking off in the bedroom. <laughs> it's a heavy it's metal. metal. <laughs> Black yeah, lipstick. Gi- yeah, it gives, new, it gives definitely new meaning to, to headbanging. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just slap it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> to the BPM. Yeah. It's beats per minute, bro. <laughs> All right, dead air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll move us on to the control then. Fucking head of the show, man. All right, I found the control. To I. Uh, that's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna change. I was being really cruel when I wrote the, those down. You were not in a good mood. I'm, I'm gonna raise it back to a three. I had it lower. It you're was reading the room, and big, now you're adjusting. I am a little bit because now I feel bad. But do you, I, it's because I'm braiding it on my own, right? Like as what, what it means to me. To me, the game was a little fast for me, and I know that's part of the cool factor and timing with the music and having the pace. It was just it was too fast for me. I agree that it was really fast at first, and I was like, damn, I just suck at first person shooters. But the more I played it, the more you get used to it, and I, you you feel really cool doing yeah, it. Right. I'm putting video right now of the game, and I'm sorry if it's not good. I I try to only use footage from like the first couple hours of the game, so there's no major spoilers. And I'm obviously probably sucking right now, so get over it. <laughs> One cool thing I'll talk about the the what was excellent about the controls. A first-person shooter game that they eliminated 
Reloads? Reloads. Yeah. How fucking cool is that? Yeah. It took me a lot to get used to. Though. I kept ch- hitting reload buttons from other games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was also... Because there's... I think that's one of the reasons you, you have an issue with the speed. There's no like walk to run you're just constantly right. running right yeah and i would still always click in the stick to run like before a jump and stuff never useful but it, it helps yeah. me in my brain i kept a like was it x it's x on xbox i don't know what it is on circle square i don't fucking know whatever it is on circle. playstation um i kept taking out my chainsaw because i kept using that button to hit the reload oh, and yeah. then i would bring out my chainsaw i was like oh yeah don't reload don't reload <laughs> A chainsaw, yeah, though. pretty cool. I found myself uh, yeah. trying to hit the R button quite a bit. Ah, uh, but uh, wait, did you play on PC but with a controller? No, I played with a uh, with a keyboard and mouse. Okay, literally R. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> the um, for me, I gave the gameplay that was my favorite thing. I gave a four point five. Well, we I were talking it, about controls, but all right. Well, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh, okay. Controls. You know. <laughs> Um, Wait, you gave it a 5? 4.5. 4.5. I gave it a 4.5. Uh, the only thing that I found... I, fu- I found it I found it to be very fluid and uh, organic when I was um, playing with the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Um, I had played it on the PS4, and it felt very cumbersome. And, it uh, definitely took some getting used to. I feel like playing it with the mouse and keyboard is absolutely the way to play for it. For sure, yeah. Because of that yeah. speed, and you can pop off those headshots way easier. I was missing my shotgun blasts way more than I'm used to in a first-person shooter. <laughs> I was having problems with my aiming. Yeah. Um, there's like a fair amount of platforming in this game. Found it to be a little tricky to gauge jumps just because you're always moving so <laughs> fast and stuff. Did you find it at yeah. least a little bit come on, absurd that during every single platforming thing, it was like, here's a green light. Here's where you're supposed to go, buddy. Okay, right so... Here. Yes, but all video games do that now. Oh, but, but that was but extremely obvious. Right, but they're playing with that trope now. There's... I was going to bring it up later, but... Uh, Danny O'Dwyer on YouTube, he's got his video company called Noclip. He, one of his first documentaries was about the making of Doom. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a three-part series that's absolutely worth a watch. But I think the second one in the series just deals with like the first 20 minutes of the game and like all the design and the development that went into that but then the third one is just talking about all the various gameplay design things that they did and they very consciously made them super apparent and obvious just to be like this this game is not about being subtle we're just going to hit you over the head with this is a game and this is just going to be fun there's not. There's no need to make it difficult to understand where you're going next. I know, but then why put any platforming in at all? Mm, I don't know. Verticality? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Climbing that fucking tower was goddamn I, annoying. I hated that. I hated that. That was the, the part I didn't like about the game. Wait, was, what tower? Was, right before you go to hell. You're, you're chasing the old lady. You're just climbing and climbing and climbing. I don't remember. There's like a whole like there's even like moving parts you got to like take a lift and Oh, I thought that was later in the game. Cuz I was just thinking like you didn't get that far in the game. Yeah, I definitely did, yeah. Oh. Cuz it's right before. Yeah, it, it, it was a little confusing in those areas. I'll give it that. Yeah. Give you that. Um health packs, no regenerative healing like in most games. Yeah, you, mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta kill to to get health and kill. To get we we haven't even talked about the glory kills. Those uh, yeah. things are fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. <sighs> what you didn't like them? They are well done. They I'll give feel them a, good. But it's so over the top violent. It's, it's doom. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's I'm just. That's why I was inspired to say it. This is this is this game is rating on my own aesthetic. It's not for me. Okay. I mean, that's how you should have been rating it this whole time. It's not like they could. Well, I, okay. I will do it then. I'll do it that way. That way it's like people can align themselves to each one of the critics. It's like, I'm more of a Michael video game guy. Well, yeah, everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> what a cock. <laughs> yeah, but I'm an average sized one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like if you if you go with Pete, you're probably into super retro. If you go with me, you're you lean towards I'm shooting ret- shit on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but if you if you line with me, it just means you're young. You don't have kids yet, so you play lots of video games. <laughs> Yeah, I lean towards short games with strong visual aesthetic and hopefully a heartstring tied to the story. Something, something, some, some. I do not associate with anything. Something that makes you go. With anything that you just said. Really? No. Yeah, my favorite I, game that I, I've played in the last 10 years, the two, my two favorite games are Inside and Swords and Sorcery. Okay, but what do you spend most of your time playing? Uh, well, games, multiplayer games I can play with friends. Uh huh. So, as last year, it was like all Battlefront, which was first person shooter. Mm hmm. Some third person. And, and, uh, but now, yeah, well, there was Destiny, but now it's 100% Rocket League. That's all I ever play. Rocket League is a special exception because that's just the perfect game. Yeah, it's, it's really accessible to the, to the shooter guys oh it's fucking annoying now that you know the whole cro- i know we're, we're supposed to be talking doom but you know the whole crossover thing so now xbox Cross players play. can play with pc gamers and yep. it's noticeable when you do really oh because they oh, type sucks. a lot of shit at you oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh i thought you meant it was like in game it was there was something like they had an advantage or something i i don't notice the advantage but certainly they can type really fast and say some really nasty <laughs> stuff to you <laughs> And you're sitting there clicking your little mouse to like <laughs> just write a couple like Good letters save. back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah. All right, back to Doom. Doom, Doom, Doom. All right, so I don't know if I rated Control. I gave it a four. Better than average first-person shooters, I thought, but right. not amazing. Right, and I, I think I said I gave it a three because of uh, uh, it's just too fast for me. Um, fun factor. Again, based on me, I gave it a two and a half. I just wanted to get through it. I wasn't having fun with it. It was just needlessly violent for me. I recognize it as like exciting and stuff for some people, but I, it wasn't for me. I, I just wa- I just wanted it to end. Mm-hmm. And that a lot sucks. and a lot of that actually hinged into one of the next categories. That was a lot of story. There was nothing compelling me to know more Don't or to like bring learn anything. Don't worry. Right, yeah. right, right. I have very little to say about it. <laughs> uh, Doom definitely does not seem like my type of game. Like, when I first started it, I was genuinely slightly ashamed to be playing it in front of my wife. Because, like you said, it's just gratuitously violent and it's just a shooter and I make fun of first-person shooters a lot. But I had, like, a shit ton of fun with that game, way more than I thought I would. Um... So I gave it a 4.5. I really, really dug. Yeah, that's crazy. I really liked all the exploration that it did. And I don't know if you did much of the exploration, like off the beaten path. But I collected some of the dolls. They reward you. Yeah. Not so much dolls, because the dolls just unlock maquettes of the models and the menus. But, like, there's other stuff, like the, I forget what they're called, but the guys in the suits, the Praetor. Oh, armor yeah. mm-hmm. stuff if yep. you find those you can upgrade your suit if you find other stuff you can upgra- did upgrade did you do any of the runes yep yeah i tried to get all the runes i missed two of them though but all, i thought all those challenge rooms which are the runes uh were fun yeah you know they were fun they're short and quick and slightly hard but not too hard yeah basically they would like give you like like all right you got to kill 15 imps in in 15 seconds or something yeah with a certain type of gun or whatever so they're they're sort of like teaching you basically like main tenets of the type of gameplay that this game works on right um did i mean there were a ton of secrets in there like they have classic maps from the original doom hidden if you unlock if you like pull a lever a door will open up somewhere on the map that unlocks a classic Doom. Oh, I didn't. I wouldn't know if I saw it. I mean, you would know the room if you saw it because it's literally oh the, the original material Doom. and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I know. I, I didn't find any of that. There was tiny little nods to like all sorts of cool games. There was actually next to one of the levers that opens up one of the classic maps. 
there's a, a guy from wearing the Skyrim helmet who's dead, a skeleton, and he's just sitting there with an arrow in his knee. Huh. Somebody laughed. There's a there was a meme from oh. Skyrim about the guy that took the arrow to the knee. Oh. But it's like fun meta humor to uh, to the people that play video games. <laughs> uh, so four point five. I thought it was very very fun, lots of cool stuff to find. Yes. Did we lose Pete? I feel like uh, I'm we here. Might have. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. What Just, did you uh, give fun? Fun for me. Uh, I had fun with it. Um, but then after a while, it, it just felt like it ran long. I do agree and, uh, with that. And uh, it just became playing. It became more of a chore, and um, things were things started to get a little, um, you know, like you can Repetitive. you can tell it's yeah. Well, you could tell it's coming. You know, you, like some things you could tell things were coming, and you could oh. tell. Like I, it, as time went on, I, I felt like I was getting less and less surprised at what I was seeing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At a certain point, that's literally just like waves of enemy until you get to one of the little nest things that you break, and then you have to yeah, fight that was the waves. Thing. Like I was disappointed there weren't like boss fights. I mean, there were a few. Yeah, but they weren't like. I was expecting something a lot bigger, a lot better. Yeah, that they, they were. Yeah, those guys with the swords. They were fucking cheese ball. Yeah, there were some that were pretty difficult. But if you get the BFG, which is part of the story, so you will get it, but that thing fucking decimates. Right, right, right. That thing was awesome. I always forgot that I had it. Oh, fun tip for anyone new to the game that's playing it. Uh, throughout the maps, once you get the BFG, there's little green glowing spinny orb things. I had no idea what those were for the longest time until... I think the final boss fight when they showed up, and I finally realized that that was BFG ammo. Hmm. Didn't know that the whole fucking game. Did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. (laughs) Oh, well. So, (laughs) there's that pro tip. Hmm. Uh, So, what what else is there? Oh, story. Yeah, we're just talking story. Like, I feel like the story was pretty weak. Like, they, they weren't really even trying. It was like, here's a loose story about some company that is trying to harness the energy from hell and inadvertently opens up gateways to hell and hell takes over people and makes them angry and motivates them to like unleash hell blah 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 uh what is it's basically a it's the jurassic park story demonic invasion in progress greed (laughs) greed you didn't say it right greed how how do i say it you're supposed to say it like a lady Oh, demonic invasion in progress. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Again, check out No Clip. I think it's their second Doom video. That's all about the f- intro level, and they talk about how, like, there's that screen that just says demonic invasion in progress, and that's them just being like, "This is our story. It's stupid as fuck. Go shoot some shit." That's basically what this game comes down to: is yep. fun gameplay. The story was like utterly forgettable yeah when i was yeah. sitting down to write my notes i was like what did actually happen i don't know who cares whatever yeah the story for me was what did you rate it one i also gave it a one i gave it a 1.5 so yeah uh for me it was very uh I like nothing kept me moving forward with it like Nothing made me care about anything that was going on. Uh, it was really not good. So then what did you guys give it as your overall score then? Wait, I just want to say, yeah. I thought it was pretty funny. It did make me laugh. That one part when the guy's like, you got to remove that thing very carefully. And then you just fucking yeah. kick it out of right. there. <laughs> I was like, that's fun. I like this guy. Well, who are you? You're the Doom guy. You're the Doom guy. That was the number one thing that irritated me about the entire story. Who am I? What do I care about getting out of here? What, yeah. what is my motivation? What the fuck is going on? Well, uh, I don't know. That's yeah, sort like of the, the way they like they like like built everything up like you were some sort of like deity or something come to Earth, 
you know, and like because there was like that whole like sarcophagus of the right, guy, right. you know what I mean? And it really led you to believe that you were somebody special, but that well, never think came. You to sort the- of are. You're the Doom Slayer, or whatever they call you, right? Something like that. Right, and I think that's just like a clever, not so clever way of like tying it into the other games. I don't remember how Doom Three ended or whatever, but I assume it's all tied together. I don't know Doom lore like some people, I'm sure, do. Well, they're obviously setting up another Doom. If, I, right. I mean, that's how it ends. Right. How does yeah. it end? I don't even Until remember. we meet again. Oh. Walks away with the sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, <sighs> I mean, the game got, like, Game of the Years from all sorts of outlets in 2016. So, don't be surprised if there's another one. Yeah. All right, so overall, for me, again, uh, for me, I gave it a 2. It's just not for me. This fine. Yeah, all right. For a loser, JK. <laughs> if if I were to, uh, I will give it just a, just its due. If if it this is your shit, like shoot them up, blast through, go through, I'll probably give it like a four, maybe even a four and a half. Like this is if you're into busting heads and shooting shit, this is a fucking stellar game. Hey, guess what? I don't even like that stuff mostly, but I did give it a four. Okay. So overall, for me, it was three point five. Yeah, I yeah. when I averaged my scores, it was a three point five, but I bumped it up to four because mm-hmm. I feel pretty positive about it. Yeah, yeah. And cool. our uh, buddy on Twitter, Diego, yeah, Latino lawyer, yeah, he he got back to us and said very succinctly, "Game of the Year of 2016." Oh shit! It's, I'm sorry, Diego, man. We just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's. He's just more up your alley, man. I mean, he's yeah, gone like on I record pissed. and said that he is... His, Pete is his favorite. Oh, Pete's everybody's favorite. I know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm my everybody's favorite. I think it's... If one, is the sound of your voice. You're very cuddly. You're very warm. You're not pretentious. You don't put your foot in your mouth as much as we do. <laughs> like, with Michael, he's got all the dick jokes. I'm overly pretentious. And according to your bitch doctor, I have an annoying voice. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor, whatever your name is. <laughs> Yeesh. What? Harsh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> See? Foot and mouth. That's why everybody likes Pete. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He's the nice, nice, nice one. Yeah. Is that it? So that was a good one. You gave Doom a two. I gave Doom a two. Pete gave three point five. I feel a little guilty about it. It's yeah. not a bad game. I gave a four. Interesting. Interesting. But I can't. I I, I feel like I don't want to play this middle of the road thing where every game I rate is a three three and a half. Like, let's have some fucking opinions. Do you like this game or not? No, I don't like it. I don't want to play it again. I don't want to. I don't. I didn't finish it. I'm not going to finish it. Good. That's how you should have been rating things. Okay. We're not trying to impress anybody. Arms. I'm never playing it again, but I still rate it high. <laughs> That's just you're fucking stupid. Arms sucked, man. I do have a an itch to go back to Zelda, though. I want to play it again. Man. Oh, so I'm going to be gone for two weeks. Yeah. So you're not playing anything hardcore this month. Well, maybe I will. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering what I should play on the Switch while I'm gone. I want mm-hmm. something meaty. Splatoon. Dude, Cave Story. Well, I've never actually played Cave Story. That would be Pete. fun. Cave Story. So what is, what is our official game for August? Night Are we gonna-